So this is the engine on the stand, finally. So uh, transmission's all off and all that. And now I'm about to start tearing into the head here. So uh, obviously first it's gotta come off as a valve cover. And um, I'm just gonna pretty much uh, document where every single bolt goes so that you and me uh, can't get confused. see what this looks like in here and I'll show you the crank and hopefully it's not just metal chunks everywhere but it looks like somebody took like that silver anti-seat paste and just put it everywhere in the engine so that thing was going for uh, I guess a little bit there yeah there's an insane amount of metal in this uh, pickup right here so I'm definitely gonna be getting another pickup but man, this thing shattered it bearing so bad. So hopefully the crank's all right. I don't really see any uh, head damage from 
you know, metal chips or anything like that. So I guess the cams are fine, which is nice. They, they look a little worn into, but I wouldn't expect that to be so bad for 170,000 miles. Like I can't catch, you know, fingernail on anything. Seems like this may be a little ridged up in here. So that would be this one. But yeah, it's actually, it's not too bad. So I don't really think I'm gonna do much besides get the head decked out and uh, hot tanked. And I'm definitely gonna be hot tanking the block now because that's gonna be an issue with all that metal from that uh, the pickup over there. It's time for me to leave here. I got everything off around the crank, so that's the only thing left in here. So I gotta get the harmonic balancer off, which is uh, kind of a pain in the ass. But I was taking a good look in here, and all these bearings are pretty shot. Like you can see the metal creeping out on the outside of these bearings here. This one's got molten lava in the middle of it. Another one creeping metal out, creeping metal out. That one might be fine, but we'll see how the crank looks as soon as I'm able to get this uh, balancer off. So this is the uh, one of the destroyed bearings from the crank. So you can see it melted a pretty good amount. And you can see it coming out from the edge there. But yeah, very important to um, understand oil flow in, in whatever engine you're building. And if you can improve it before you put it back together, it's definitely a good idea. I had to use this crank pulley tool, which is a uh, universal Honda Acura puller for the harmonic balancer because everybody has an issue with that bolt up front. So what I did was hold it with this, have somebody um, on that 19 millimeter nut with this, with their body weight, and uh, lock up the back of the crank with a couple of the bolts. So uh, that was before, I mean, you obviously you gotta have all these uh, pieces in here to be able to do that holding the holding the crank in because you're going to break something but uh yeah that's all you got to do easiest way to do it is do it before you take the engine out of the car so looking from under here you can see the pistons so i'm going to take them out like this so i'm not you know dropping them or anything so i'm just going to put a hand here and do it but um yeah but i'm just going to make this the end of the video because all the rest of it is really pretty simple if you're tearing this off you just take out these few bolts and that's the pump you pull off, right? So this is just water pump here and it's pumping out of here this way. Um, I'll show you how to put on an oil relocation kit for this. That'll be nice, way easier to do oil changes. Um, I may be getting another uh, pulley here. Probably a good idea whenever you uh, rebuild an engine to replace all your idler pulley bearings and all that stuff. So uh, yeah. So I'm pretty much at the end of this video because uh, right here is the oil pump. Uh, it's like this whole area here is the whole pump. So um, it's just going to take me some time. I got to take this off of here with a puller and then everything else will just slide out. Uh, you could, it's up to you whether you use shaft, uh, balancer shaft deletes. So this spins and this spins. Um, I actually ordered a kit where I'm going to delete both of them and get rid of some of the uh, moving mass in the engine. So I've done a lot of research and they don't seem to be uh, damaging to anything because what they're supposed to do is offset the, uh, the weight of the crank when it moves. But I think it shouldn't be a bad idea. 